that demon threw me really far. I've got to hurry and regroup with Inosuke. Just hold on. I'll be back soon. I wonder if Inosuke's all right. I hope he's not being too reckless. Okay, then. Hmm... Ah! Screaming! It's coming from that direction! What are you looking at? This isn't a play, you know. What are you doing? Aren't you two... fighting on the same side? The same side? Don't go phrasing it in such an infantile manner. The two of us are family. We are connected by a powerful bond. Regardless of that, this is between me and my sister. If you insist on interfering, I'll carve you up. You're wrong. Family or comrade, as long as you feel close to one another, that's all that really matters. Calling such precious bonds childish, that's not true at all. Not only that, but those who are strongly connected with each other give off the scent of trust. But all I'm picking up from you two is the scent of terror, hatred, and revulsion. That's not something you can call a bond. It's a fake. A FORGERY! Now then... What did you just say? I asked you... What did you say to me? <clears throat> Look how scary he got. It feels like the air became ten times heavier. Inosuke, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to hang in there a little longer. I'll be there as soon as I defeat this demon. I'll come help you no matter what! I'll say it as many times as I have to. The bonds you have aren't real at all! Just so you know, I'm not going to kill you with a single strike. Instead, I'll dissect you piece by piece. However, if you take back what you said to me just now, I'll make your death mercifully quick. I refuse! What I said was the unbridled truth! I won't take it back, not on your life! You're the one who's in the wrong! I see. Then it's as I said. I'll tear you to pieces. Uh, no way! That was nothing! <laughs> You're a nemesis. Let me cut you to pieces. Hold it! Uh, die. <laughs> what a wheel! This move is making this a difficult fight. If I misjudge my timing even for an instant, I'll die! He may be strong, but I can't lose this fight! I've gotta cut his head off! I'm coming up! Hold it! Over here! Die! Die! I'm coming after you! Over here, you're a nuisance! I'm coming after you. Yeah, yeah. What a wheel. Over here. Hold it. I'm coming after you. 
Breathing. First form! Not that any of that will matter in the end. Water surface slash! <laughs> my... My sword's been broken. I can't believe it! Are... Are those threads he's controlling? Are they even tougher than the demons I've cut through? <laughs> I can't dodge this! Nezuko! Nezuko, hang in there. You protected me. Thank you. The girl emerged from that box and defended him. But I'm sure she's one of us. <laughs> is she your sibling? And so what if she is? Siblings. Siblings. His sister's been turned into a demon. Yet she stays by his side. R Rui? She risked her own life... to protect him. That is a genuine bond, and it'll be mine! Rui, hold on a second! Please reconsider! I'm your elder sister! You can't abandon me! Shut up! None of you were able to fulfill the roles you were assigned. Not once in your entire life. Wait, brother. Wasn't I the elder sister that you wanted? Give me another chance. Very well, then. Go kill the humans wandering all over this mountain. If you do that, I'll forgive you for what just happened. Uh, all right. Yes, I'll do that. Boy, let's talk. Just the two of us. The truth is, what your sister did, I found it genuinely moving to behold. I doubt any words exist that describe exactly how I felt. However, your fate now is death. A disagreeable conclusion for you, no doubt. So listen close. I'll impart to you how you can escape your fate. I want you to give your sister to me. If you do so, then I will spare your life. I have no idea what you're talking about. As of today, instead of being your little sister, she's mine. You don't actually think I'd ever agree to that, do you? First off, Nezuko's not a thing! She has her own will and feelings! There's no way she'll ever be your sister! It's alright. You don't need to worry. I'm stronger than you. I will create a bond with her. One made of terror. She'll know what happens when I'm defied. I've had enough of you spouting this nonsense! Using fear to keep someone shackled to you isn't the bond of a family! And until you are able to figure that out, you'll never get what it is you desire! So irritating. Would you mind not shouting? It's clear we don't agree. I'll never hand Nezuko over to you! Very well, then. I'll just take her after I kill you. Not if I manage to cut your head off first! Now that's the spirit. I would love to see you try.
Let's see if you have what it takes to bring down one of the twelve Kizuki. Is Isis lower rank five? As I thought, this power, he really is one of the twelve Kizuki. In a family, the father has his designated role to fulfill, and the mother has hers in turn. The parents protect their eldest children, and the eldest protect the younger ones. What are you even talking about? The way I see it, if you don't understand your own role in life, there's no reason in living it to begin with. As for you, I'll tell you your role. It is to relinquish your younger sister to me and disappear. If you refuse, your only other path is death. For you cannot defeat me. It won't be easy to cut those threads. But what do I do if his neck is even tougher? Not to mention my broken sword. That steely look in your eyes. I don't like it. What are you plotting? Don't tell me. You think you can defeat me? Ne Nezuko! Quiet down. This won't be enough to kill her. She's a demon. <laughs> <sighs> Calm down. Don't get emotional. Concentrate. Control your breathing! <laughs> Don't be afraid. Get into his space and cut his neck. Then rescue Nezuko! Nezuko! Just hold on a little longer! I swear, I promise, your big brother will save you! Still look at this. I don't like it. What are you plotting? Really? Farewell. I'm coming after you! <laughs> Waterfall Basin! Waterfall Basin! <laughs> You're mine! You're a nuisance. Hold this! But it doesn't matter! Even with a broken blade, I can definitely cut his neck if I get close enough! Don't be afraid! Close the distance! I can win this! Let me cut you to pieces. I'm coming after you! Is that your best? Die. I'll kill you. I will kill you. You don't have to worry. Once you're gone, I'll be sure to teach your sister a lesson. I'm going to let her bleed for a while. If she won't learn to be obedient, I'll just leave her like that until daybreak, and then let her burn. And I'm certain she'll never defy me again. And our bond will be complete. I already told you that's not what a bond is at all! Everything you're saying is wrong! You just want to chain Nezuko down! <laughs> Concentration! Water breathing! Transform! It's futile. Constant flux! Ah! I did it! I just have to keep closing the distance! Boy, you don't think these threads are at maximum strength, do you? Blood demon art. Cutting thread cage. I have no more use for you. Farewell. Not good! I can't cut these threads! I don't have enough momentum! 
Something's wrong. They're giving off a totally different scent than the other ones. This can't be how it ends. It can't. Am I really gonna die here? Am I? Tanjiro, you are breathing. Master your command over it and become like the Hinokami. Look, Tanjiro. That is your father's Kagura dance. Our family works with fire, so to ward off injuries and disasters, we offer this dance to Hinokami, along with our prayers at the start of each year. Father's health has always been frail, right? So how can he be out in the snow and still keep dancing and dancing? If that were me, I bet my lungs would freeze. There exists a breathing technique. One that will prevent you from ever exhausting yourself. If you can master the correct way to breathe, you'll be able to dance forever too no matter how cold it gets. You know Kami? Kagura! Dance! <sighs> how? Break through, Tanjiro! You have to break through! It's like those threats have a life of their own! Even new ones faster than I can blink! But I can't hesitate! There are repercussions for forcefully switching from water breathing to Hinokami Kagura! If I stop now, I'll be rendered immobile for a time! That's why I need to keep pressing on! I can't let this moment slip by! My lungs! My legs! My strength! Give it everything I've got! Keep going! Keep pushing! Forward! Forward! He's charging without even minding the threats. I'm a stubborn threat. What's it going to take to finally bring him down? Even if it costs me my life, I'm going to take you down right here and now! Let me cut you to pieces. I'm coming after you! <laughs> Hold it! I see it! The opening thread! <laughs> Please let me reach him! Nezuko. Please wake up. Nezuko. You need to save your brother. You're capable of doing so. Your brother will be killed if you don't. Blood demon art. Exploding blood! Impossible. <clears throat> but my neck is even harder than the threads. You can't possibly cut it. <gasps> the bond between Nezuko and I! Cannot! Kagura passed down for generations, somehow manifested itself into a technique. And that helped me defeat that demon. I beat him. I won. Nezuko. Ugh. 
My vision's blurry. And my whole body's throbbing with pain. Is it because I took too many breaths too fast? I gotta catch my second wind and press on. I still need to go help Inosuke as soon as I can. <sighs> Scent of blood just became stronger. Don't tell me he survived that, but I cut his head off. You thought you defeated me. How sad for you. Did your delusion bring you a brief moment of joy? I cut my head off myself using my own threads, before you were able to do the job yourself. Enough struggling. I'll kill both you and your sister. I haven't been this incensed in a long time. Get up! Get on your feet! You need to control your breathing! Hurry! There's no time! Now I'm going to carve you up without regret. Blood demon art. Murderous eye basket. Don't let your breathing be disrupted, Tanjiro! Calm down. Just stay calm. My arm. I can't raise my arm! Every single day, I missed my parents so much I could barely stand it. Even after crafting a family of my own, that emptiness remained, because I was the strongest. I couldn't depend on anyone to protect me. No one. The more powerful I became, the more distant my memories of being human became as well. I began losing sight of what it was I wanted in the first place. I sought out a bond that I was never able to claim for myself. Not in my old life, nor the new one I created. His body is giving off a scent, one of grief. Too overwhelming for him to bear. So warm. Hands. Gentle as sunbeams. Don't waste your sympathy. It was a demon. The fact it looked like a child makes no difference. It lived for decades, terrorizing our people. If it's for the sake of avenging people who were killed, to make sure there are no more victims, I won't hesitate to bring my blade down on any demon's neck. But when it comes to those who felt despair and regret from the actions they took as a demon, I will never disrespect them. Because at one time or another, they were human. No different from me! Aren't you too? Oh my! Why would you get in my way, Tomioka? And after you told me we could never be friends with demons, I have to say, this kind of thing is exactly why no one likes you. Now then, Tomioka, would you please move? People do like me. Oh dear, I do apologize. You're only just hearing about this now then? I'm sorry, I didn't mean for you to find out this way. Boy? Yes, ma'am! What you're protecting there is actually a demon. So please move away before you get hurt. No, you're mistaken. Well, you're not mistaken, but she's... She's my little sister. 
She's my sister, and that's why... Oh my, is that really true? You poor thing. In that case, so she won't suffer, I'll use a gentle toxin in order to kill her. <sighs> Can you move? Even if it's difficult, you need to go. Take your sister and run. Tomioka, thank you. I appreciate this. Did you just break the rules of the core? <laughs> Tomioka. Oh, that's right. He's the one we met before. Tomioka's the one who introduced me to Uro Kodaki. Back when Nesuko was first turned into a demon, I had no idea what to do back then. And now, he's saving us again! I can't ever thank him enough! <sighs> My whole body... is aching so much, I want to scream! But I have to keep going, and endure it! Don't stop running! Keep on moving! You've gotta run away! This forest! <laughs> Tomioka, this is clearly against the rules. You're preventing me from slaying a demon. What are your intentions here? Don't you have anything to say for yourself? As I recall, it was two years ago. Are you about to go into a long-winded story from the past just to spite me? It's because of what I said to you earlier, is that it? <laughs> message! Message! <laughs> Tanjiro and Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters! Tanjiro and the demon Nezuko are to be taken into custody and brought back to headquarters. Tanjiro with a scar on his forehead. Nezuko, a demon girl with a bamboo muzzle. Are you Nezuko? He does have a scar. All right, let's bring him in. Come on, let's get going. Everyone else is already starting to clear out. The battle for this mountain is over. I'm sure that even after this, there are some who cannot accept Nezuko. Work towards changing their minds. Prove them wrong. Hey, you're awake. You passed out cold the second we moved you here. Everyone was worried because you weren't waking up. Figures I'd be the one who'd have to watch you. I always said you were pretty out of it, but... Well, I guess she was right. I see. What's wrong? My head just feels a little... foggy. 
I can't really remember what happened. Oh, is that all? After all that, he's gonna act this way? How arrogant is this kid? My stomach hurt so bad the whole time. After the mission on Mount Natagumo. That's right, I... Hey! Come on! Get up! Are you gonna sleep the whole dang day? Just wake the hell up, will ya? <laughs> You're in the presence of the Hashira! I heard he was a demon slayer with a demon in tow. I was expecting someone with a bit more flair. But it's just some ordinary looking kid. We must see that this boy is put on trial to be judged! So it shall be! To think that he's been protecting his sister who was turned into a demon! What a brave and beautiful display of sibling love! What? Who are all these people? Don't open your mouth until you're told! Do you know who you're in the presence of? These are the Hashira! The Hashira? I have no idea what that is. Who are all these people? Where even am I? This is the Demon Slayer's headquarters. You are here because you, Tanjiro Kamado, are to be put on trial. Before we begin the trial, why don't you explain the crime you have been accused there of? There is no need for a trial! Protecting a demon is a clear violation. We can deal with this on our own. We shall execute them both. In that case, I'll decapitate them with style. I'll show you the most dramatic spray of blood ever. It'll be a spectacle. No way! You'd really kill a child as adorable as him? Such a thought fills my heart with sorrow. Alas, to see such a pitiful creature as this, I grieve for him. Perhaps it would have been better had he not been born at all. Those clouds, what do you call them when they're shaped like that? I can't remember. Wait, where's Nezuko? Hey, the Hashira are speaking. What are you looking at? Your eyes should be over there! These are the nine highest-ranking swordsmen in the Demon Slayer Corps! Those are the Hashira? <laughs> hey! Nezuko! Where did you take her? Nezuko! Zenitsu! Hinosuke! Murata! Never mind this, boy. What will we do with Tomioka? Seeing him standing there without any restraints is making me feel ill. Based on what Kocho told us, he's just as guilty of breaking the Corps' rules. How should we make him take responsibility? What kind of lesson shall we teach him? Igoro, you're as sharp-tongued as ever, I see. I love that side of you. Look at Tomioka over there, all alone and stoic-like. What a cutie! Oh, I think it's fine. He did come here without resisting. Let's come up with a penalty later. What I'm more interested in is hearing this boy's story. He's in this situation because of me. Tanjiro Kamado. As a fellow Demon Slayer, for what purpose are you traveling with a demon? You can take your time. Just answer the question. She's my... my young... <coughs> you look like you need some water. I can tell you've injured your jaw, so please, drink slowly. 
I added an anesthetic to the water to help. Your wounds are still healing, so it would be best if you didn't push yourself. Are you ready to tell us your story now, Tanjiro? That demon is my little sister. My family was attacked by a demon while I was gone, and I lost them all. Except for her. She may be a demon, but she's never hurt anyone. She never has, and she never will. She'll never harm a human being no matter what! Enough. Spare us the absurd ramblings. Anyone would defend their family. Why should I believe a single word you say? Sorry, but I'm not buying it. Please, just listen to me! I became a swordsman in hopes of finding her a cure! It has been two whole years since Nezuko became a demon, and she hasn't ever eaten anyone! Your storytelling is lacking any vibrant sparks of color. She hasn't eaten anyone, and she never will. If you're gonna plead your case, at least make it interesting to listen to. Excuse me? Something about this concerns me. I find it hard to believe the Master would have been unaware of this situation. I don't think we should act without his permission. Maybe it's best if we wait until he arrives. My sister... Let my sister stay by my side. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. I know she can. So please. Well, well, well. What exactly do we have brewing over here? Is that the moron who's been traveling with a demon? <sighs> Start talking. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Go on, say that again, kid. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. Isn't that what you said? You know what we call that? Being completely out of your mind, you idiot! <laughs> Anyone who harms my sister answers to me! I don't give a damn if you're one of the Hashira! <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Cease this at once. The Master will be here at any moment. The Master of the Mansion has returned. My beloved children, I thank you for coming here this day. <laughs> Good morning to you all. The weather is strikingly nice today. Perhaps with a blue sky. Finding ourselves here, at our semi-annual gathering, with all the same faces, it brings me joy. He looks wounded. No, sick maybe? Is he really their master? The master. The Hashira. Nezuko. Nezuko. Where's Nezuko? Huh? Your sister is right there. She's been asleep the whole time. Makes sense, given everything that's happened. R right. Okay. <sighs> you look like you're still a little groggy. Why don't you go for a walk and wake yourself up? We'll be safe here in the Butterfly Mansion. And I'm pretty tired of watching over you. I'll go tell everyone you're awake. If you see anyone around, make sure you greet them properly. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, sure thing. Just feel better soon, okay? A proper greeting. Okay. Looks like I've got everyone worried. Let's go. In the Butterfly Mansion. Huh? Is that... Hmm...
啊。I'm so glad you're awake. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry to be a burden. This place is for treating those who have been wounded in the line of duty. It's our job to take care of you. There is no need to apologize. Oh, well, thank you very much then. Though you are awake, your body may not yet be back to normal. You need to keep resting to ensure a full recovery. Understand? Yes, I'll do my best. Is this really the same boy who made such a fuss at the Hashira meeting? Okay. What's this? Okay. Oh, Zenitsu, Inosuke! Oh, Tanjiro. You sure look like you're up and refreshed. What are you two doing here? What do you think? We're lying in the sun. There's nothing for us to do. And, well, just look at Inosuke. I'm sorry for being so weak. Uh, oh. Anyways, you met the Master, right? Oh, what was she like? What'd you think when you first saw her? Oh my gosh, please tell me she was a beauty. The master is a man. I've lost interest in this conversation. Huh? Is that... Okay. What's this? Okay. Thank you. Sorry to worry you all. How are your wounds, Tanjiro? Oh, uh, they're okay. It doesn't hurt much anymore. I'm so glad.
glad to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can go and do anything strenuous. Yeah, Shinobu will get mad at you. Got it. I'll take it easy for a while. <sighs> Tomioka helped me on my mission again. I should thank him one of these days. It's just as you've all reported. The demon's carnage has reached an all-time high. This means the threat to human life is greater than it has ever been before. We must bolster the ranks of the Demon Slayers. Now, what are your thoughts? The incident on Mount Natagumo says it all. The caliber of Demon Slayers has dropped tremendously. Most of them are completely useless. The trainers must have gone blind. You'd think they could at least tell if someone's competent or not. The more the human race grows, the harder it becomes to control and unify them. And in this era, that seems to be especially true. We have those who've joined us after their loved ones were slaughtered. And those who have hunted demons for generations. But for the others, it's another matter entirely. Asking laymen for the same or even greater commitment to our cause. I feel this would be much too cruel. But we must consider that this boy, soon after joining, encountered one of the Twelve Kizuki. I think he can draw them out. Even we rarely get the chance to confront one. I am envious! A fair point. However, the fact that Lower Rank 5 made such a drastic move likely means Kibutsuji is far from Mount Narakumo. Like with Asakusa, whenever he wishes to hide something, he proceeds to create a clever diversion to throw us off his trail. To be honest, it's quite frustrating. But as long as these demons linger as they do now, freely devouring humans and gaining strength as a result, there is only one thing for us to do, for the sake of those who have died. I feel you who are present today, the Kors Hashira, are the finest unit I have assembled since the Swordsmen of the Feudal Era. The very first to use breathing techniques. Tengen Uzui, Kyojuro Rengoku, Shinobu Kocho, Mitsuri Kanrochi, Ruichiro Tokito, Gyome Himejima, Sanemi Shinazugawa, Obanai Igoro, Giyu Tomioka, my beloved children. I look forward to seeing your success. <laughs> 